State Farm, and we have the Spurs in town. Two teams right now, guys, in the playoff mix as we are getting ready. Murray still waiting for their big free agent acquisition from this past offseason. And we are underway. Elbows came up a little bit, but you gotta let that go, right? That's what the ref gotta say. Get up, stop flopping, just exactly. go out there and play. That's a really good offense. I tell you, they are the better passing teams collectively in the league. That's what makes Joker so good. The times the answers time. there. Big big Chandler into the open court, and there you go, right there. Just. The quick attack, this first team got Tony Parker. Yeah. And Murray's the guy that attacks the offensive glass. He rebounds well, and he's long too, G.A. Yeah. Times again, knocking. Murray, from deep knocks down there. I tell you, boy, has he been a coach for long? When he comes out and hits his first yeah. couple shots, de defensively, he's just better at it. And a lot of times, when you got a young guy, this shot right there, talked about it in our pregame meetings. His one concern was his slippage as far as knocks down that triple. He said, we, we guys were so good offensively. After last game, they gave him 62 points in the paint. For them, even though they missed his pump lead, uh, to really defend in the middle of the uh, paint for them, they still got to do a better job of helping each other out and defending for the whole 24 seconds of the shot clock. Way too easy if you're by the Nuggets there as Jokic gets the block. Well, I tell you what, though, they are, I, I haven't had the chance where he really does spectacular things because he's done his whole career. Four teams are able to get that win. Right in the yeah. Take a little off my shot. Really? When I shot here. So instead of an 8-iron, you use a 9-iron? I have to go to 9-iron. <laughs> okay, I have to go to 9-iron. Mono and Devin Harris had a lot of battles, especially in the Western Conference, when Devin was in Dallas. This shot right there by 26 points. If he gets going, I mean, this team could be very dangerous in the playoffs if they make it. Tony Parker was a little patented 18 footer. Bitch production. Did the Spurs in that first quarter. And Patty Mills picking up. They're really not playing with a true point guard in that starting lineup, so. When you got a young backcourt, especially in this day age, wow. But I think he's a starter in this league. I think he's very underrated. Uh, if he ever got to a situation where, you know, he can be the man, he can go out. And the Spurs, they just play such terrific position defense. It wasn't going it was way too long. quick, way too fast right there. <laughs> Yeah, it was. Uh, uh, I hope right. Karan didn't follow that. He got to relieve himself. <laughs> <laughs> nice, man. You know, we were talking about him earlier. I didn't see when they have four shooters out there because a lot of times he's going to be able, when he's catching that ball right at that medium range position. Woo! Smoke running back. 11 points for him early in the game. A great that you least expected to have an impact on the offense end, just always waiting for their turn and able to come in and produce. Jokic knocks down that triple. A little bit better job defensively here, the last few possessions for the Nuggets all over. Right now, averaging 14 points from a scoring standpoint. He can really put that ball in the basket. Great defense by Wilson Chandler. With Parker and Chain, they start to become a little bit more offensive more. Another turn over here. Oh, good find. And Wolf gets there for Will Barton. And this is they get this crowd into the game. Well, the Nuggets are undefeated, especially playing against a team that's on the second game of a battle. Yeah, you can't trade them. I, uh, I think it's going both ways right now. Great seal by Wilkinson. I'll be right back at him. Oh, we, it, you know, that's not the first time we've seen that, but there we go with the transition. And this is the concern right now. Anderson gets the nice bounce stick for the half. Six 
61 points already for San Antonio is huge for them. Murray coming out on a great wheel action there, knocking down the second half. That's a great luxury to have when you got a guy like Tony Parker able to come off the bench, run the offense, and get a nice. Even got a fist bump from Popovich that last play. Uh, they need more passing, and Siok is in there going for a three-point play. Nice drop off pass, but the Spurs. Pop always, uh, Pop said early in the pregame that he's only sending two guys to the offensive glass. He wants three guys back. Another great offensive play right there. Allen kind of just fumbled it. But again, great transition defense off a live ball turnover, even though the big fella. Young guys, you know, you get fragile. You start pulling on every mistake, and pretty soon you start playing just completely defensive. They need Murray playing aggressively, but you got to have better defense in. Playing last night, an older shorthanded team, will they have enough against this young, energetic, and athletic? But I doubt if he, he's out for the rest of the game. Uh, good defense there by Chandler. Great pass. Great pass. Help keep this Spurs team in this game. He's been a beast out there. Really running the floor right there. You see him getting to the basket. Another big basket for him. Danny Green, uh, Danny Green wins that. And the Spurs right now, a point lead as we get down towards the end of this third quarter. Short. Got to drive. You got to take it to the basket. He is on fire tonight. <laughs> and the thing I love about it, he's not doing anything special. He's just rolling to the rim hard and playing at the front of the rim as he gets a foul call up there. He'll get better as the season goes on, but he's a special talent, Coach, because you can move him around and walk him in position on the floor. Yeah, no question. He can play someone but with this lineup because it, you don't change how you play. They didn't really have a close presence before, as you see a nice cut here by the Spurs, I should say by the Nuggets, but they can't get that defensive rebound. Spurs able to make them pay. When, they, when, they, when Pop calls their number, guys come off ready to play. Oh, Tony Parker just Sure, of course, they ain't got nobody else that can score the ball. Yeah, so he has to be aggressive. Yeah. And the other advantage you have is Laverne trying to get in and attack. And gets that one to go. Laverne went down. Laverne went down. Prior to the last time out, Devin Harris from deep knocking down. In situations like this, in the fourth quarter, he's been in the, he's been one of the world championships, so he's able to look at Devin Harris as he brings the rest of his starters back. Harris able to knock down. It up, but that's just good, solid basketball by Devin. Great pass. They can all score. Terrific chemistry, man. I, I tell you, I'm anxious to see this team once they get built up. Gary Harris. And it has been the fourth quarter where they created the separation, but also the fact that this first team is just gassed. And even that, 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 it's a win if you don't give up a transition opportunity, which they do, to cut it to 10, 61 in that first half. And, Granted, this first team, sure-handed and fatigued. There's no doubt about it. But the Nuggets brought some tremendous energy there in this second half defensively. Much more active group and uh, an impressive win here for the home crowd. They kind of wore them out. You know, playing in this high altitude. Spurs started out great early in the game, but to play 48 minutes, especially at a high tempo, when you got an older team and guys are out, is just tough to do. Yeah, once the tempo got picked up and Denver started getting up and down, the Spurs just couldn't stay with